Hey, what's going on guys? Daddy Kane here, and we're back again earlier this morning to do some more garage selling. Um, I found this estate sale that uh, looks kind of promising. Uh, we just pulled up, so uh, let's go see what they got. How much are you asking for this Xbox 360 okay, stuff? Uh, it's just the. Which one is yeah, it? the steering wheel. Steering wheel? Yeah. 20 bucks. How much is it? 20 bucks. Okay. Mm. I bought it for my husband and he never used it. Okay, yeah, I, I might take that. You may put a sticker on it? Do you, can I, can no. I write on the box or no? No, no? no, let me think about it. Okay. Let me think about it and I'll tell you. Just I'll put a, a sticker on okay. it then. Let me right. grab a sticker, Trace. Yeah, you got it. Oh, let me write your card. Yeah. For 15. Mm -hmm. So $200 for all that? That's a good deal. Yeah. I mean, we're trying to get. Nine. As as we can. I understand. I wish I needed a queen size set because I would buy that right now. Let me take the tax off because my tax is running. Tax on my purchases here. <laughs> I don't want to tax you on. $15. Is all this, is this sold? No, you can okay. I just want to put it out. All right, all right, just making sure, just making sure.
Sears Plain. Just like in that one, like 60 bucks, I think so. How much are you asking on the safe? mind if I do a little trash picking while we're out the rocks on them.
You have more inside? Sir? You got stuff inside also? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were on the phone, man. I'm, no, 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 no. I it's started okay. answering I got, people I, and they're talking on their phone. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to me. I got a YouTube channel where I do garage selling and thrifting and all that stuff, so I like to videotape. That's okay with you. I don't ever get people in, you know. Yeah. You got some really cool stuff on here. It's a, you know, the, the boss, that might be somebody you have to ask me. Oh, uh, no, nah, I mean, usually people don't even say anything, yeah, yeah. you know. So it's for a channel, you said? Yeah, YouTube channel, yeah. And one of your people like watch it and you see stuff they like? Yeah, people, I'll, you know, I never thought. I just sold one of these. Okay. I got I had a, a Coca Cola and I still got an RC Cola one. What, what did you get for it? I, I I got sold for thirty. Okay. Not so too you, far off. That's a right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because it just depends, and, and, like, and the condition. This one's pretty legit because of the you know a lot of the ones yes. that I've seen like this. That comes These off. are all messed up. So mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. No, you're right. The, the RC Cola one I got, I got it for 20 because these, these little rivets have started to come yeah. loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And RC Cola is not as much of a popular brand as right, Coca-Cola. Right, right. I've got a, I've got two, uh, I've got a yellow one and a yellow Dr. Pepper one. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Those are, I think, a little bit more rare. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a yellow one. Are they selling those signs? Yeah. Oh, they are. They are. The signs are legit, man. I was looking at the signs myself. Um, I, you know what? I just picked up on the way over here, and I dropped it up at the house. I'm gonna throw it away.
All right, guys, as you saw, they had like a lot of uh, little cheap little tchotchke or little knickknack stuff. Um, I looked under some of the things and uh, most of it was made in China. They did have a cool little collection of Gothic stuff, um, but I think they had a price a little bit too high to where I couldn't resell it. All right, guys, so here's a wrap up of uh, the last couple of times that we've gone garage selling. Now, it's been a busy last two weeks and uh, and what you missed out, what I didn't get to take with me was um, we had gone out of town to go visit some family out in East Texas. And while I was out there, I was like, well, let me go ahead and stop by this little uh, garage sale that they had. And uh, one thing that I picked up while I was out there was this really cool. Sansui receiver. Solid state eight. These are highly collectible. Um, I picked it up for about $20. Um, even if it didn't work, I know you can sell it off for parts and make your money back really, really easy on that. And the only reason I knew um, about that, uh, about picking up that Sansu is because of my follower, uh, Vinyl79, go ahead and follow him. Um, he uh, dropped some knowledge on me on, uh, on some of that stuff. So I wanna say thanks to Vinyl79 for the help for the hookup if it weren't for you i wouldn't have even known to look for that uh, receiver so thank you so much um also guys um if you don't do this already i got a bunch of uh blank vhs tapes they were 25 cents a pop and uh these blank tapes they don't make them anymore so uh they go for they go for pretty good money out and uh, uh on on ebay also, and I did film this, but did find this little GoPro. It does, it does work, it turns on. I just need to hook it up to a USB cable or something like that to see uh, if it'll record well, if it takes good pictures or not. It's an older one. GoPro Hero. But for five bucks, I couldn't pass it up. These here are some LG uh, Bluetooth speakers with a charger work fine already tried them out I uh, found this century these were also five bucks found this century safe with the key so real good condition also five bucks um, while I was out driving around I did find that mirror in the trash so I picked it up so that's a pretty good find um, I'm not sure what this is about. This is California Land of the Promise, published by the State Board of Trade, San Francisco, California. I'm not sure if that's a promotion item for a book or what, but I'm going to look that up. And I did film this guy here. Slow speed bump. Someone had that in the trash. I'll pick that up. Okay. What I wish I would have been able to film is this lady had this... Uh, sell that said we're cleaning out the attic and she had a bunch of vinyls I didn't I picked up one vinyl from her it's not really worth it's gonna be a lot of money but I like it just cuz the con the context it's a rapper's delight by sugar hell gang um, no cover nothing it's it's only the vinyl and the sleeve um, I got it just so I can enjoy it so but she had a bunch of baseball cards too, a bunch a bunch of baseball cards and I was going through these and she was selling these for really, really cheap. And if um, they're all categorized by alphabetical order, there's some really, really good cards in here. Jeff Bagwell, Jeff Bagwell, Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds, Wade Boggs, Roger Clemens. Tam Condioti, that's an older one. I'd have to look that up to see if that's worth anything. It's a 1982 card, is that what it is? 1984. But if you look at these, Roger Clemens, Roger Clemens, these are all stars, star cards. None of these, Chris Carpenter. Um, none of these are uh, generics. 
No more Garcia Para rookie card. Juan Gonzalez rookie card. Sean Green, I don't know who that is. Tony Gwynn. Ken Griffey Jr. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. So as you can see, Ken Griffey Jr. And there's a lot of King Griffey Juniors, and there's a lot of Tony Gwynn's. Juan Gonzalez. I haven't even gone through all these. Chip Jones, is that who that is? Andrew, no. Randy Johnson. Derek Jeter. 1990. Rookie. So, I guess I could assume that that's probably worth some money. Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. All rookie. So, I think I hit it really, really really good deal on these Austin Kearns we're gonna go through a couple more of these just kinda Grand Maddox Mark McGuire Mark McGuire Mark McGuire so there's a bunch of them there might be even a rookie card in here who knows so I'm gonna go through all these and check it out see what's in here <coughs> Some Nolan Ryan cards back there. Rafael Palmero. So I got this whole box here. I got this box, which has a bunch of uh, 19, 2009 playoff pre prestige. And I'm just going to grab Darren McFadden. Donovan McNabb, Brian Westbrook, Deshaun Johnson, Ben Roethlisberger, Heinz Ward, Philip Rivers. So I'm guessing that all these are all the good cards too. Clay Matthews, rookie. So, I mean, as you look, Chris Wells, rookie. Austin Cole, rookie. Ladanian Tomlinson, is that what that is? Oh no no, sorry. But it's a jersey card. Percy Harvin rookie. Michael Crabtree rookie. Mark Sanchez rookie. LaShawn McCoy rookie. No Sean Moreno rookie. Who else do we got? Greg Olson, Maurice Jones Drew. these are. Our draft cards, Vontae Davis, Donald Brown, Sean Green, Mark Sanchez, rookie, Devin Thomas, Darren McFadden, rookie. <clears throat> Andre Johnson. So bear with me as I kind of put these away. Like I said, I got a lot to look through. I'm just kind of going and I didn't look through all these because she made me such a good deal, the lady that I bought these from. So all of the cards that I'm going to show you, I paid $90 for. Now you're going to say, wow, 90 bucks, that's a lot. But like I said, all these cards are star players. None of them are randoms. And uh, she also threw in a bunch of these hard cases that I'm going to use for some of the more expensive cards. Um, I have some cards myself that I'm going to keep. Jose Canseco little miniature um, got these books each one of these books has different players in it Roger Clemens all-american redhead pitcher I don't know if, I'm sure that's worth the money these are all Roger Clemens cards so there's that one Juan Gonzalez uh, I guess these are some Texas Rangers. These are some Cubs players. Those might be, but I did see some cards in here that like these are all King Griffey cards. King Griffey, King Griffey Jr., King Griffey Jr., King Griffey Jr. So 
So, Jeff Bagwell. This guy. Kind of give you a little preview of this box. So, Karima Abdul Jabbar. Julia Serving, 1969. This card's a 1969. <clears throat> so, as you can see, a lot of these cards, Babe Ruth, this is just a milestone card. But there's a bunch of cards like this. Nolan Ryan. This is a graded card. 9.2. So, Ken Griffey Jr. I'm not sure. Could be worth the money, I guess. I mean, well, there's also a Dan Marino back here. So, this is a Dan Marino quarterback card. Graded Mint 9. Mint 9. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even notice these when I was going through this. I was just kind of like, okay, these are good cards. Randy Johnson, graded in mint nine. Cal Brooklyn Jr. George Brett. Alex Rodriguez. So I guess this is what, like a rookie card? Yeah, because he's with the Yankees, huh? Maybe he got drafted by the Mariners and got traded. Don't remember. And I'm going to show you a couple more. Jim Thome, rookie card. Cal Ripken. Alex Rodriguez. Shortstop. I don't know. Carlston Fisk. Sparky Anderson, Robin Roberts, bunch of, uh, I'm guessing these are good cards, man, they, they have nothing but good cards in here, some, what are these, oh, Tiger Woods cards, I guess, and it's, and like, I'll just pick any random set of cards, and they're, they're good cards, Scotty Pippen, Damon Studemeyer, Jerry Stackhouse. So, like I said, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to look through. There's all those great cards right here, to be honest with you. And these, I don't know what these are. If anybody knows what this is, uh, Mariners Team Snapshots, Rockies Team Snapshots, Barry Braves Team, a bunch of different teams. I guess they're photographs. They're kind of bent, though, so I don't think they're worth anything. Might be, who knows? Put this to the side. Uh, I got a couple books too. Now, one thing that I noticed that some of these, even though they were dated a certain date, she had some that were just kind of mixed into. And these might be all generics, but she gave me this book for really cheap. I think it's five bucks for this book. Steve Sachs is good, right? Gil Hodges. Cal Ripken, that's an old All-Star card. All these different All-Stars from back in the day. Don Mattingly, William McGee, Cal Ripken, Ozzy Smith. So, more 
all stars, good players. Man, I used to have a bunch of Jose Canseco cards, and they used to be worth so much money. Not so much anymore. Just kind of thumb through these real quick. See a bunch of these little cool, like hologram cards right here too. Pedro Martinez. So I know there's some value in these cards. Look at that. These are all those hard holograph cards or hologram cards or whatever. See that? Ricky Henderson, Doug Drabeck, Roger Clemens, Mark McGuire, Mike Piazza. And this is the last book that I'm going to show you guys. Josh Hamilton, Richard Hidalgo. Chad Petty, Carl Ertzky, Yogi Berra, what are these, reprints, yeah, these are all kind of like reprints, but some of these are be worth some money. Yeah, 2001, 2001, 2001, so these are all reprints, but could be viable. Like I said, I think she gave me this book for five bucks, so... <clears throat> Okay, guys, so that pretty much does it. I uh, want to thank you guys again for putting up with all this uh, review, uh, looking through these cards. Um, it's really a lot of fun to go, you know, these garage sales, go trash picking. Um, I found so, so many, so many cool stuff. And this lady was just giving stuff away. She had tons and tons and tons of baseball cards and football cards, but I don't think I, I wanted to just take that inventory in. It was, it was a lot of stuff. But I'm happy with the ones that I got. This one guy was looking with me, and he kind of scooped in and grabbed a binder that I wish I'd have gotten because they had a bunch of uh, '70s cards in there, uh, maybe even some '60s in there. But he got it, you know. And that's just the way it is, you know. When there's so much stuff to go through, and there's so many other people out there looking, you just get some. When you, what do they say? Uh, you win some, you lose some. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button right there at the bottom. Um, like this video if you like it give me some comments if you know anything about any of these cards or if you're just a fan you want to talk about cards or if you just want to comment and see uh, you know what these cards might be worth you know leave a comment down below and I, uh, I usually do a pretty good job about you know replying to all my comments so once again thank you so much it's your boy daddy Kane peace